Sí, como digo. Okay, welcome to the weekly infrastructure team meeting. So first of all, attendees. So Aditya and I are the only attendees today. Um, regarding announcements, not so much. It was quite calm, except of course, the new LTS that has been released um, this week. So first of all, Aditya, do you have any subject that you would want to talk about? Oh, no, nothing. Nothing per se. Okay. So I might be superficial on the subject today since we are only the two of us. Uh, do not hesitate to interrupt me to ask questions for any subject. Uh, chances are high that we will cover again all these subjects uh, on the next uh, team meeting. Okay, sure. So, so first of all, um, right now we are uh, we are having a maintenance of the repo jenkinsci.org uh, repository. So that is a Shifrog uh, managed service. So they sponsor us by letting uh, using that artifactory instance in their cloud. And since the past two or three weeks, we were facing issues for the downloads. So it's like uh, front uh, issues. Uh, some some artifacts were not being able to download temporary failure on some areas on the world. So sounds like related to their mirror infrastructure. And so they are migrating the version of whatever tooling they are using and migrating the database as well. So we should have had um, a downtime during the past hours. I haven't had time to check, but for sure we will let you know. Uh, everything is has been communicated today on the status page and on the development uh, mailing list. So we'll send a hand of maintenance email to close that afterwards. The expectation is that we should not have any error starting next week when downloading artifacts from CI Jenkins or developer missions. Um, we had weekly an LTS release this week, so that was pretty packed. Uh, a bunch of issues were met for both. Uh, we will have to do a retrospective to improve the next ones. Um, I don't have uh, so much information on that part, um, ex except uh, something related to the uh, S390X and PPC architectures. I will speak about that later. But we, we were able to release. It just it took longer for both and took more effort, but yeah room for improvement, but great job everyone involved on this release because we were able to deliver and that worked very well. Um, we switched from Adopt Open GDK to Eclipse Temerin. I think it's the correct, I'm not sure it's the correct pronunciation, so please uh, uh, pardon my English. So Eclipse Temerin is the new home for the Adopt Open GDK distribution project. So it's under the Eclipse Foundation. Um, that change had some impact because we are early adopters in that case. So we changed only the Docker images and the team had to rework some elements because we only have two operating systems supported officially by Timurin as for today, uh, Debian Bullseye only and CentOS 7, which means we had to switch to multi-stage Docker image using the awesome glink commands. The idea is that we create a first Docker image supported by Temerin, and then we extract the GDK and pack it using glink, and then we copy that packed version of the GDK on our own image instead of just installing a package. The positive side effect is that we gain 100 of megabytes on each image that have this system. So that's quite nice. We are still having issues with Alpine Linux because we had to use glibc, which is not a good practice at all. Uh, one should not use glibc. There are plenty of good reasons because it uses muscle, but it's temporary measure because Eclipse Temerin is currently working with Alpine Linux uh, developers to have a, a native supported image. Another consequence 
we're not sure if it's directly related to Temerin or if it's just an issue that has been, been, been made visible, we had to suspend the build and distribution of the PPC and S390X images because a bug on Kemush, the emulator we are using today. Two solutions for that, using native machines, but we need two machines for each, one for CI and one for uh, trusted where the deliver opened. And team was able to track the issue on Kemu, which has been already released. So we, are, we have to wait to that release to be updated on the infrastructure to be able to put them back. So let's wait next weekly that should make these images back. Sorry if you started to use them, but these two images were not official. They were just new shadow release, so not so much impact there. But we are deeply sorry if you are testers on these images and that you were not able to use latest release. Any questions so far? Uh, well, I, I understand all this. I just wanted to know uh, how Temerin is better than uh, OpenJDK. If you can provide some pointers on that, it would be. Yes, uh, Eclipse Temerin is adopt OpenJDK. It's just that the, the whole infrastructure for building, maintaining, and distributing adopt OpenJDK is moving under a foundation, which is the Eclipse Foundation. And so they changed the name to materialize that change. But it's the same code, it's the same project. It's just it's under the foundation management now. Okay, got it. So they're um, like starting to move and now they are like right now they just support a couple of uh, images like these operating systems. And then we'll uh, like when they finally move, probably there might be more coming up. Like you talked about that in a conversation with Alpine, right? Exactly. Okay. Oh, uh, that, that could be on a form of a G-Link or something like that with specialized with a specialization per distribution. Um, there are long discussion without absolute answer right now, without consensus, <laughs> that will be uh, moving part of that specialized per distribution work on the package maintainer, meaning if you are a maintainer of Alma Linux, that's your responsibility to provide open GDK under packaging Eclipse Temerin for your distribution instead of having an upstream build. Got it. So it's kind of sharing differently the responsibilities. I mean, that's each project have that kind of issue. So the move to Temerin raised this question again. Okay. Um, honestly, I don't know what are the supported timeline LTS for OpenGDK. I feel like we are early adopters. That's why we had these issues. But that was not really impacting the main lines of our images, so the IRM and Intel images. Uh, and that's already um, a safe ground to test these things before it comes to an LTS or something like that. Right. So the next subject is the switch from ACI to Kubernetes agent. So on CI Jenkins IO for costs, um, resiliency and technical reasons, we started to add Kubernetes uh, agents next to ACI. And we completely removed ACI because it started to behave uh, erratically. We weren't able to finish a single pull request on Jenkins core two weeks ago and also in terms of cost. So after two weeks of uh, production usage, so far so good, uh, we have removed everything related to the Docker API limit and secrets. So we have a, a minimum uh, system working. We have auto scaling of the resources. So the next step will be improving the costs in the future and adding different Kubernetes provider for resiliency on different clouds. Uh, one of the most, most important elements here is the depreciation campaign for the use ACI parameter on all pipeline of all plugins that we provide for developer on CI Jenkins IO. So there is an issue uh, infra uh, 2919. I'm going to add the, uh, the reference here. Um, it's a non breaking depreciation for now, and we are going to work on batching the pull request to all plugins to propose the change to the new parameter that will be use container agent instead. 
new upcoming uh, change that we will have to study carefully. Nginx Ingress 1.0 has been released. It's uh, the Nginx Ingress Elmchart 4.x. So for now, expect a pull request that will force using the version 3. something to keep the old version, the current version we have, and only benefit from patches and security updates. We have to check before there are breaking changes, especially with the support of the new Ingress API, which is mandatory on Kubernetes 1.22. But we need to be on Kubernetes 1.20 to fully benefit from this new Ingress. So we have to check of what is the behavior of Nginx Ingress 1.0 on our current versions. But that's a subject to keep. Anyone interested or with enough knowledge on that part is welcome to help us on that. We need someone able to help us to do the impact and either migrate to that new ingress or work with us in order to uh, upgrade Kubernetes before doing the ingress upgrade. New subject that I'm raising personally. Um, uh, it's a proposal for a weekly task that will be 30 minutes each week of mob or pair uh, work. So we start up a visual call, everyone connects, and the goal during these 30 minutes will be to bash issues on the Jira Infra Tracker because we have a lot of issues that should be closed, that are out of date, that can be raised or bumped again or triaged. So the goal is. Um, tackle this problem down so we can go back to using issues as support for the actions on each weekly team and we could start going back to triage. A proposal that has to be confirmed by at least Olivier and any people interested uh, next Wednesday at 1 p.m. UTC. So that will be 3 p.m. on Paris or 9 a.m. on uh, the East Coast. Packer images, uh, some work has been done on the Packer images repository. The goal of that repository is to provide virtual machines, uh, templates for CI Jenkins IO. So we are on the process of update, uh, we bumped uh, Git and some dependencies. Expect the bump to the latest Maven version, 3.8.2, which is a patch version. We are currently running 3.8.1. And we are now going to build AMIs and all virtual machine templates on each pull request. Because during the past months, when a contributor um, raised the pull request, it was not really built. So when it's a matter of downloading a new version of a package, we cannot test it until the change is merged on master. So 30 minutes waiting for, the, for that build, and then a second time to rebuild uh, when it failed. It was more than one hour for feedback. So our goal is to shrink that feedback, but the cost is that an individual pull request will be built in 20, 25 minutes because time to build the virtual machines and test everything. Um, that set the ground for auto-updating uh, these images. So there are some work on update CLI, but we are almost there. Expect uh, before end of September, um, all the update of the virtual machine will be automatically. Next step will be migrating the Docker inbound agent images that are specific to the infrastructure inside that repository. So that Packer will build the same environment, either you are running a container or a virtual machine. Some, uh, some new topics, so I will cover rapidly, and we will have to discuss that on the next week, uh, team meeting with more members. I'll be in vacation from the two until 14th, uh, so we should not plan anything unless uh, Olivier is available. Next big topic on September will be cost management. We started manual cleaning on Azure with Olivier, removing old and dangling resources, and now we are we saw some quick and fast improvement on the costs. So this month, we are decreased the cost of Azure. Um, but the cost on AWS are increasing each month. So what we want is removing Unus resource, optimize the, the cost on CI Jenkins IO by using instances with the same resources, but less IO or less network because it's not always needed. 
And finally, there will be, now that we're able to agent as code, we, we should start using spot instances on EC2. These instances uh, can be destroyed at any moment. There is a time of two minutes before the instance is down, but their cost is twice less, even better. So that could be a great way for the, sh the tiny instances to gain some costs, especially when we scale up suddenly the Kubernetes. One last word about Puppet. Um, so the Puppet, the whole Puppet on Jenkins Infra start to be ordered to run tests and ensure that when we had a change, that change can safely be deployed to production. So now we were able last month to improve drastically the time between an IDA and the changes deployed to our production, which is really nice because we can update the infrastructure really efficiently. But now upgrading to recent version of puppets, uh, tackling down CVs and providing a local reproduction and integration test, all these topics are quite sensitive because it breaks everything and we might have to rethink the way we use and test modules. I wasn't successful after three days of full work on that one, so I need help on that topic. If you know Puppet, you are welcome to help. For me, the road, if I don't get any help, will be rewriting all the tests for the, our modules, Puppet modules, using the new PDK. That means starting from scratch and then migrating the, the RSpec contents uh, module per module. OK, that's all. I tried to be under time. I don't know if you have another question, if there are things unclear, topic you want to raise. No, nothing else, no, nothing as such. It was pretty clear to me what's going on. Thanks. So then I'm going to close the meeting and pause the recording. And I hope that next week uh, more people will be there. Yeah, holidays for uh, the luckiest one. Good for them. <laughs> yeah, I think next week you'll be on holiday, right? Uh, no, the I will. That will be the only day uh, I will be present. So I should be here as spectator. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, th this is under the time limit. But I will be working only the free. I have other <laughs> company meetings, so uh, that I want to attend. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I will be there. So see you next week. Thank you. See you next week then. Thank you so Take much. Take care. You too. Have a nice weekend.